Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. Welcome to another one of the Patreon reward casts for two people that have contributed significant amounts to the Oli Mo League's Patreon campaign. The Oli Mo League, of course, being a Korean weekly online tournament cast by Base Trade TV and funded by, I suppose you could call it, the community. I think more accurately, you could say a small but dedicated group of fans that wish to see Korean players battle in a Korean online tournament, of which you might be surprised to learn there aren't any. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone thinks of Koreans dominating the StarCraft scene, and rightfully so, because, well, they're the best. But what they seem to ignore is that there aren't actually any Korean online cups. At least there weren't until Oli Mo League decided to kick into gear. So one of the rewards, one of the limited tiers for this Patreon was to have a replay cast. And this is Connor H's replay. So big thanks to him for the support. And this replay features Agent Zero. He is in the red trunks and he is playing Terran to the southeast of Catalina Ellie versus his opponent to the west position. In the blue trunks, also playing Terran, he is, disturbingly enough, a canary. Would you trust your armed forces in the hands of a canary? No. No, you would not. Absolutely not. Needless to say, there were mine. Uh, I don't know, maybe it makes sense. These miners right here are trusting their lives to the canary, which is certainly something that has historical basis. But I do not believe that a canary would be an effective commander of futuristic armed forces. I just don't believe it. But I'm willing to be proven wrong, so we will find out. Agent Zero sounds like a delicious energy drink. I'm going to be honest. If that doesn't already exist... <laughs> Sugar free, Agent Zero. And just, you instantly find yourself on a snowboard. Going down a mountain with a GoPro strapped to every single limb that you have. For no reason. Shouting woo every five seconds. Yeah, that would be the advertising campaign for Agent Zero, I think. All the excitement, none of the sugar. Don't worry, it's in America. It doesn't have real sugar in it anyway. Alright, TVT! My favorite mirror matchup. Absolutely lovely, TVT. TVT's been pretty good lately. When has TVT not been good? Actually, I can name you a time when TVT wasn't good, and that was the start of Heart of the Swarm, where it's nothing but bloody Hellbats. Hellbat drops. How do we counter Hellbat drops? Commander, let's attempt more Hellbat drops in response. Yeah. It was actually depressing. Thankfully, TVT is not really like that anymore. Got a slight difference in the opening build orders here. Don't let him in! Get him away! Get that disgusting canary away. He could be carrying horrible diseases. I'm wondering if he's trying to tempt him in here. Oh, has he finally realized there was an SCV to kill? Go on, shoot it! There you go. Get rid of that disgusting rat with wings. Thank you. That's what we like to see. Slight difference in build order openings. We had the Reaper, the 12-12 opening here. Which has lost quite a lot of popularity in TVT. Mostly because if you go single Reaper and they go double Reaper, you... Well, kind of die a lot of the time. That is not a good way to scout, but thankfully Agent Zero is able to get out of there. Canary was well prepared here, so we like to see that. So yeah, there is a risk to it, because the double Barracks Reaper play opening is a thing. And if you end up going one Barracks Reaper against that, you lose your Reaper, and then you lose most of your SCV line. It can actually, in some cases, be GG right there. But Agent Zero gets away with it, so that's fine. He doesn't lose his Reaper either, although Canary is doing a fine job of warding this thing off. He hasn't actually managed to confirm CC, but he probably suspects it. I would imagine. He should be able to, I don't know, there, there is a way in, but he keeps running into these Marines all the time, so it's evidently not going to work out for him too well. It's also a third CC going behind this. Canary playing for the economic style. Very, very greedy. But it looks like he's able to get away with it. As the standard build, as you're probably aware, with the Reaper opening, is you then go for a reactor, although in this case, Agent Zero build a Marine first. Then you swap out the factory with that reactor, and then you can either build some Widow Mines or some Hellions, and you go straight into a Starport. You just, you end up having a lot of flexibility for early harass, but you are lacking in terms of the ability to build a lot of Marines, so your opponent can push you pretty hard. You've got to watch out for that. Doesn't look like there's any intention of doing that here from Canary, though. I don't know if Agent Zero has realized that, but he probably suspects that there is a base here. Although, he might not know about this third command center. So, economically, he is behind. Agent Zero is, of course, mining off slightly less bases at the moment because he was a lot later with it. And Canary is able to gain a slight lead. But he hasn't managed to translate that into anything yet. So we're going to see a Banshee play possibly here from Agent Zero. It looks like it will be. Could do the job. 
there are currently no missile turrets down. Engineering Bay is being built though, so... Canary knowing that there was a Reaper there. Ooh, nice pickup there. Agent Zero gets a second SCV, which you can't really complain about. Knowing that there was a Reaper, you can also suspect that there might be a Banshee follow-up, because that's a, one of the ways that you can come out of this build. The sneaky thing about this build is you can do a lot of things with it, because it's basically an adaptation of the good old 111, and you can vary that in any way that you like. You could have a Hellion drop, you could have a Widowmine drop, you can go for Banshee, cloaked or uncloaked, you go for a straight-up Hellion push, you could push up to, to Hellbats if you like. All sorts of things work. It looks like a second factory is coming out here from Agent Zero, so we may just be seeing straight-up mech play. It looks like it will be. He's simply using the barracks to build tech labs and reactors, so looks like we're going to have a tank follow-up here. All right, pretty neat. Raven is on the way, though. No Banshee. Scan goes down, so... Actually, double scan. That's quite the investment there from Canary, but he can afford it. He's on three CCs, so it's not too bad. He can kind of get away with that, but he now knows everything that's going on. He sees the second factory coming down. He also knows that there's a starport with a tech lab, although in this case, it did actually build a Raven rather than a Banshee. This might cause Canary to overcommit slightly to missile turrets, but it doesn't look like it's actually the case. He's just got one in every mineral line, which is entirely reasonable. Nothing out of the ordinary with that at all. I see a lot of Hellions coming out here from Agent Zero. Will he decide to go up to Hellbats, or will he simply be focusing on Hellions for the time being? There's no wall off here, so a Hellion run by would do damage, although if tanks start to come out, those Hellions are going to end up being a little bit vulnerable, to say the least. I expect to see some tanks out of Agent Zero momentarily. It will be a little bit weird to see anything else in this position. Third factory is coming down. I wonder if he's actually going to go for straight for that reactor there. It looks like that's connected to the tech lab, but I think it might be slightly misaligned. Not 100% sure there. Viking coming out here as well, just to maybe try and deflect some drops. Although, as it stands, our little canary here has no intention of leaving his cage for the time being, so... Nothing to worry about. Agent Zero's Reaper is still alive against all odds. He will be flying into the danger zone quite shortly. There it is. There's the armor we've got. Infernal Pre-Igniter being added on here as well. So, very heavy Hellbat tank heli in play. Another scan goes down. So, Canary knows what's up and is deciding to move out, which is quite surprising. But I guess you don't really have the choice, do you? You can't just keep your CC in the main base for that long. You've got to try and take a third. I don't know if he actually has enough forces to properly defend it from Hellion runbys. He has two tanks, 11 marines and two marauders. The marines won't last very long, so he's really relying on the tanks to do something here. Yeah, there's potential vulnerabilities that could be exploited uh, by Ag Agent Zero here, but he's deciding not to do so for the time being. He's still playing on two bases, by the way. The third CC has completed, but he hasn't moved out as of yet. So we're going to see what looks to be... It's turning into a bit of a split map scenario here. We're going to have both players expanding. Canary's probably going to expand outwards this way, and then Agent Zero's probably going to expand out this way. And eventually it'll be kind of split down the middle. But we will see. So far, Agent Zero playing completely passively. Canary with probably enough tanks to make this difficult now. I'd still Drop play would still be extremely effective here, which is actually what I'd like to see coming out of Agent Zero instead of those Vikings. The Vikings are good if he wants to play tank warfare, and it looks like he does. But Agent Zero is only slightly ahead in terms of his tank count, so I'm a little bit concerned that that might not work out too well. In the meantime, Canary's production is rolling, but he is focusing on bio. And that's going to be pretty good for him because mech forces, while they're out on the map, of course, can't come back to defend. They're a little bit slow. It's a very positional army. So there is the very real possibility that drop play could do a lot of damage to Agent Zero. I'm going to move out into the center of the map here and try and siege this position. There's a number of ways that you can do it. I mean, you can slip around the side here and do so out of sight. There's no sensor tower down, so... It's not too difficult to slip around and attack from this direction out of range of the tanks or even get a high ground position on the tanks, which would be potentially devastating. And these Viking counts kind of enough to chase away those medevacs right now. But let's keep an eye out. And that is not the best start. A lot of Hellions taking damage, but not killed there. I would love to see Agent Zero just swing around the side, but I don't think he has full awareness of what he's going up against yet. He is aware of this command center, but he doesn't know how the defenses are set up. Canary's just going to keep producing marine tank by the looks of it. Still no sign of drops from him. 
He has three medevacs. There's one moving across the map now around the side, looking to maybe hit the third base. Here's another attempted engagement. A little bit of damage done here and there. And Agent Zero is going to try and siege up against the main base, which will certainly do some damage. Might be able to kill off an add-on or two. Canary moving forward, but not with enough forces to really make this work. A nice little attempt with a couple of mule drops coming down here, but they're going to be instantly obliterated by the Hellbat, so that actually does nothing. There's the siege up from Canary. Viking superiority is certainly in favor of Agent Zero at the moment. The drop is still moving around the right-hand side of the map. We'll check on that in a minute. But Canary has a slightly superior tank count. Looks like he's got a good siege up here as well. Agent Zero, for some reason, not moving his Vikings into position to allow his tanks to return fire. Which is a little odd. There's the drop over to the side right there. And Agent Zero is a... He's not really boxed in. He could actually very easily retreat from this position. Here's the stem coming on. And the tank is not sieged. If Canary's quick enough, he could actually kill that. And he's trying. He's going to get it. Nice pickup. I mean, the tank was worth. If, if he just gets out right now, it's going to be great. But he's actually trying to kite the Hellbats, which is maybe not the best idea. But he is able to kill one. So I guess it was pretty good. He's going to try and take out that refinery here. And he kills another Hellbat. Which is surprising. You think, what? Well, it's a blue flame hellion. These guys are going to die. Well, no. The firepower is good here. And Canary does have 1-1 one, one as well. So that's worth bearing in mind. This is a great little piece of harass here from the blue Terran. In the meantime, we've got a bit of a weird stalemate going on here. If he had medevacs, he'd be able to elevate into the main and start doing damage. But he doesn't. So that's causing him a lot of problems here. And I certainly hope that he decides to build medevacs. And still, he still isn't. He's building a lot of tanks and hellbats. And finally, it looks like this harass is going to get driven away. But not before it kills yet another SCV. Nine workers killed there by Canary. Uh, the only two workers killed so far by Agent Zero, of course, were the ones killed by the Reaper earlier, which is not ideal, really, is it? It's not what you want. So, so far, this big kind of scary mech army from Agent Zero is stuck out in the center of the map and is most likely going to end up being surrounded and killed if Canary goes full on for it. Got the medevacs moving across and uh, one almost falls. Canary with the quick boost out there. I just, I want to see Agent Zero do something, even if it's just a little bit of auto turret harass. Just anything here. Seeker missile going off, only, oh no, it's both of them, okay. I was going to say, that's not, only one of them would not kill that tank, but that wasn't too bad. The question is, can Agent Zero do anything? I'd like to see him retransform into Hellions and actually try and make a run at that. I think maybe he could do it. Big load up here by Canary going around the side looking to maybe attack the main base. There are a good number of missile turrets though, so this could be a risky venture here for our Canary friend. More siege tanks being produced by Agent Zero, who currently sits on 14 versus 8. But, of course, he can't defend everything with that. L oh, no, he didn't use his boost! Oh, that's a disaster for Canary. He loses everything. Didn't boost into the main. Wasn't paying attention, I believe, because he was dealing with this engagement. The Vikings land inexplicably, which is maybe not the best course of action, because now he has no air superiority. The tank's now stemming in, but they take heavy fire here from the siege tanks. And the Marines will be driven away. Agent Zero somehow managed to get around here with some... Hellbats. Again, I'd love to see those transformed to Hellions that have a much better job here rather than getting shelled on the way in. This third base is now pretty much secure. Agent Zero has a bunch of idle workers who he needs to certainly get to work. Crack that whip immediately. They're doing nothing. Yeah, it looks like it's a miss rally here. So definitely needs to deal with that. So far, a surprising lack of economic damage. I think that the tables were certainly reset when Canary suicided half his army into a wall of missile turrets. That maybe was not the best plan ever. And as a result now, his army is significantly smaller, although Agent Zero does have a lack of mobility right now. What? I... Um... Hmm. Okay. I, I maybe wouldn't have necessarily done that, but who knows? It seems like there's some deep-seated political unrest going on between the units of Agent Zero at the moment. I'm going to see a drop, and it's probably not going to get too much done. So Hellbat's already in position to roast it, and I'd say siege tanks, but actually what we have is a dancing tank right here. So it looks like we have several traitorous tanks, and that's why Agent Zero is trying to cull the weak here. But this did actually more damage than it had any right to. That tank positioning is hilarious. It really, really is. It just snuck in in that one little block, and actually, you can see the Sim City of Agent Zero is working against him here, as Canary is able to dip, duck, dive, and dodge his way through the myriad of messy buildings. 15 workers killed now by the Canary. Has a significant economic advantage, although Agent Zero's army is scary huge, if it can ever leave the base. Oh, finally, we're going to see those tanks cleared up. They've been there for like the last 10 minutes doing absolutely nothing, but Agent Zero has enough money to replace them without too much of a problem. 
Three three on the way here for the Canary, and two two is done for Agent Zero. He hasn't started his three three upgrades as of yet. He's actually upgrading Terran Infantry Armor, which is a little bit of a weird choice. Not really sure why I do that. Unless he intends to transition it to bio, which again makes no sense. So now Agent Zero will finally start the Hell March, and the question is, can Canary actually hold up against 31 Hellbats and 19 Siege Tanks? Answer is potentially yes. If Canary has a good position, then you, can, you kind of get diminishing returns on tanks because you can't necessarily position them all in the optimal spot. So even if he has less tanks, if Agent Zero runs right smack bang into the middle of a good siege position, then he's going to have problems. But half the tanks weren't actually sieged, and the Marines need to back the hell away immediately. And that tank line is going to very rapidly collapse. I, I mean, he should have really used the high ground here. That would have been perfect, but Agent Zero is able to punch that through. He did take a lot of losses in doing so, though. Most of his Hellbats were killed, although his tank count is now at 22. 22 tanks, ladies and gentlemen. That is a huge amount. More starports being added on here for Agent Zero. I wonder if he'll attempt to hell that drop. In this position, you, you sometimes want to, but with that many Marines, it's very hard to get the medevacs into position to drop without them being shot down. So you do have to watch out for that. But now the siege is in position, and Agent Zero is going to try and put the stranglehold here on Canary. A planetary fortress is up in the air, and thankfully... At least for Agent Zero. There's a few Vikings there, but he didn't follow up, so he could have got that kill, but he didn't. In the meantime, Canary is trying to swing around, and I think you might be surprised to find that there's actually no fourth base here for Mr. Agent Zero. No sign of that whatsoever. He's actually double expanding over to the right-hand side, not the left, and any attempt to break this will, might kill a couple of tanks, but it will otherwise be futile. There are far too many tanks here for Agent Zero. He might throw away his Hellbats, but that's not really a big investment at this point. 3-3 is about to complete, though, for Canary. So if he can get a good amount of bioforce together, he could do some damage. But his marine count is only at 46. He's actually floating a huge amount of resources here. <coughs> I'd love to see some more barracks being added on. Canary being chased away here. And the slow march of the siege engines continues here for Agent Zero as he brings his Ordinatus down on Canary's head. We've got a fourth base over to the top here, which... And that looks like a juicy target to break. But still, this tank line is quite spread out. And there's still a bunch of risk involved. Agent Zero flat out refusing to use regular Hellions. Which means he's eating a lot of tank shots before he even gets into range. And in comes Canary's counterattack. He sallies forth through the gates to break the siege. Takes out three tanks. Looking to take a fourth. He should be able to get the rest as well. That is a very crippling blow, actually, to our Red Terran. Who lost the majority of his attack force was just isolated and crushed and destroyed. And now Agent Zero will roll out his second army. He does have a lot going for him. He's got a decent bank, although not as large as Canary's. And he's able to break some of the siege here as well. And Canary now down to three tanks versus 17. But he is up, still up against 3-3 bio that's quite marauder heavy. And tanks do die quite quickly to that. I'd love to see some ravens added in here for Agent Zero to counter that. The good old Pult style of TBT from Wings of Liberty. Well, fourth base is now under attack. There are a lot of Vikings, though, so these medevacs should die without too much of a problem. The question is how much economic damage will be done before that happens. Great step forward there by Canary to try and catch out those siege tanks, but there are just too many units coming in to crush this. The last medevac goes down. The Vikings reign supreme in the skies, and Canary's army is crushed without too much of a problem. But he is attempting to move in from the side here with Stim 3-3 Bio. He's still going up against three siege tanks, though. Is that going to be enough to break it? It should be with that many marauders. Two tanks down, another tank going down as well. Most of his army getting destroyed here, but a lot of siege tanks picked off, and that's very important. And Agent Zero's supply goes down yet again. Those tanks are very big investments. Another tank dies there, as Canary is able to stim back effectively, takes down a Hellbat as well, losing a lot of his medevacs, which certainly sucks, but the lower you can get that tank count, the better, and strangely enough, Canary actually has no tanks now. He's going full-on Marine Marauder medevac against this. But he's still mining for four bases, and if I've got to say one thing about what Agent Zero has not done effectively, it's drop and harass. 49 SCVs versus 80 for Canary here. 80 can re SCVs will allow you to replenish pretty much anything, especially if you're playing bio, it's very quick to replenish, versus this army, which is not quick to replenish. Every siege tank he loses is a lot of commitment. And we're going to see two more starports added on possible battlecruiser transition here from Agent Zero. He may attempt to just go for Ravens and Banshees here. This was not a good fight here for Agent Zero initially. He sieged up very late, and that's going to allow Canary to break him. All the Marauders smashed that army to pieces very, very easily. If he had scanned ahead and if he was aware, he would have been fine. But that, that sensor tower gave advanced warning here to Canary, and he was able to crack it quite easily. More Stim Marauders. That's three tanks. One down. Two down. 
third tank down. Only a single shot going off, and that's a lot of dead Vikings as well. I'm not sure why he would land against the Marauders. He's just able to deal with it, but... Man, that was that was a close call and quite a heavy investment here. A couple of tanks coming in. Uh, I do. I mean, they're not going to get much done, I would think. Maybe a few SCVs will die here, but they're going to get surrounded and killed without too much of a problem. Is he going to get one tank out of this? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. So that maybe wasn't so great. A little bit of weird harass from the side there. But we're still in a position where I feel Canary is way, way ahead. He's been sitting on four bases comfortably for a long time. He has mined out at his natural and his main. And he's actually almost mined out at his third, though, as well. So he really needs to think about expanding. The question is, where can he expand to? This is a fresh base for Agent Zero. This is also a fresh base, so... And he's still mining from his third. So while there's a huge bank here for Canary, he's going to have to think about expanding again. Because he is starting to run out of ways to mine resources. And you can see that Agent Zero does have a decent enough lead as a direct result. But he's a bit beaten up on the army supply. He's still ahead because his work supply is quite low. He's relying mostly on mules here. Which is reasonable at this late stage of TBT. In fact, I'd actually say the Canary needs to start throwing away some of these SCVs. And he would agree with me. Or, no, he doesn't agree with me. He's actually mining. He has 80 SCVs, which I think is too many right now. If you look at his bank... He's got a huge bank. He does not need that many SCVs. Building some more orbitals and just relying on mules would be a much more effective way of dealing with this. And because he doesn't have that large army, which should come from his economy right now, he's not able to get anything done. And he's gradually bleeding his army away. Which I'm not a huge fan of. He's still able to do some effective harass and drop play. And he's trying to attack multiple positions simultaneously. And he's able to do that. But there are a lot of tanks in position. Every time he attacks here, he's losing good portions of his army. And he's never able to really attack in force. And finally, Canary is able to break this area. But, I mean, this is something that Agent Zero should be able to respond to. He shouldn't lose this base. So while it looks like Canary's in a good spot, his unwillingness to get rid of a bunch of his SCVs and expand his army, I think, is really hurting him here. Nice little landed Viking harass here by Agent Zero to pick off a couple of those siege tanks, just landing right next to the tanks. Very, very effective indeed. Yeah, I am... I'm starting to get really concerned here for Canary. He's looked like he's been ahead for a decent portion of the game, but now he's actually lagging behind in a big way in terms of army supply, and he's still on 80 SCVs, which is not helping him. No? He needs to start spending his bank, and he needs to start spending it on units, and maybe just getting more barracks up in general. If we look at the structure count right here, what we're going to see on Canary side is he's only sitting on eight barracks, which for five bases is probably too few. He's almost outnumbered by the number of factories that Agent Zero has. In the meantime, we've got a fight in the, in the center. That's going to be a quick route here by the looks of it for Canary. He should be able to crush this without any problem at all. But the bulk of the army is heading to the fifth, and this base is surely forfeit at this point. Question is, can Canary swing around? I don't think he's got the size to do it. Will he attempt to drop the base? It is possible. All right, let the base drop. Nope, he's not going to drop on that one. Okay, he's going to he's gonna, just going to go right into the main base here, and that that is definitely a vulnerable spot. There's no doubt. The mech army of Agent Zero caught out of position. The siege is up, and this is going to do critical structure damage, I believe, to Agent Zero. Canary's drop is going to do the job. He's unwilling. <laughs> Why would he not morph them into Hellbats and bring them back quicker? I don't know. Hellions even. God. But that's most of the factories gone. Agent Zero's not getting much done. Canary quickly responds to a couple of straggling tanks at the back. And all these factories are going to die. What's the point in having money if you can't spend it? The slow march of the mech right back across the map here. I mean, really, what I think Agent Zero has to do now is he's got to crush this army. And then he's got to attack. He has to. And he's, he's not getting an effective engagement here. There's marauders at the top of the ramp picking away at tanks as they come up. And there are just too many units, of course, for Canary to stop. But look at the damage he did. We were talking about six factories earlier. He's now on zero. He only has a barracks and a starport to produce from. He's got nothing. So now I have to see Agent Zero attack. And his army supply is now down. He allowed that to happen. And unfortunately, now the hypermobile force of Canary takes out... Two more expansions, the production facilities are gone, and Canary's army is, for one of the first times in the game, much larger than Agent Zero's is. And I think this could be curtains. There are still 12 tanks, don't get me wrong, and these are heavily stimmed units that are badly injured and have no medevac support, but Agent Zero again is not in position! 
He's not ready, and he takes a bunch of losses in the process. Canary sacrifices a lot of his army to take out another mining base here, which may not have been the best idea. And as a result, we see the army supply get ever closer. But still, the, the fact of the matter is that Agent Zero is mining money that he cannot spend. He is attempting to rebuild factories, as you can see here. One of them's burning down and isn't being repaired. And he, for the, this entire game, has not been able to get a really good solid fight going. Like, th this is a siege composition. You're supposed, you're supposed to siege your enemy with it. And if you can't do that, then you are going to end up losing. He loses out yet more tanks at the front here. No Hellbats to buffer. And the engagement comes in. Canary thinks he's got it. He thinks he has the numbers, but I don't think he's right. Agent Zero pushes Canary back once again, but the supply count is ugly. Absolutely hideous. I mean, Canary can afford, afford to lose another army like that. He's still got 98 supply versus 36. All the Hellbats are now dead. Canary is now cracking the siege line. And of course, these 3-3 three, three tanks do great work, but I don't think it's going to be enough now. Agent Zero is in a lot of trouble. Another stim forward. One tank dies. Two. The third. And that's GG. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. And well done to Canary. And commiserations to our mech player, I'm afraid. It was not quite up to the task. There you go. That is a replay there for Connor H, contributor to the Oli Moly Patreon. If you'd like to support that tournament, there's a link in the description below this video that tells you what's going on. I believe there's already been like 10 events for that tournament so far. It happens on a weekly basis. It's a great event. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.